Howdy everyone, Mr. Kazi here from beautiful Itasca City, Texas and today we're going to have another problem of the week and so let's get right into it. How would you name the following compounds? Now nomenclature uh, can be difficult if you don't know your information. However, if you can recognize ionic compounds and covalent compounds, if you can get your periodic table out and uh, know the elements, with a few simple rules, you can name compounds fairly easy. Now, one of the things I note about these elements right here is that they are all covalent. They are nonmetals and nonmetals. And nonmetals and nonmetals are covalent for the most part. So, get out your periodic table, get out your roots and prefixes. If you don't have your roots and prefixes, you can get a free download at yourchemcoach.com, polyatomicions.pdf. There it is right down there at the bottom of the page. Get it, download it. It's a great tool. It has uh, roots and prefixes on it, and it has polyatomic ions on it. And I suggest that you learn them. It's a great resource until you have them memorized. All right, let's put together a plan. Number one, add IDE to the root of the least metallic element. Then use numeric prefixes, don't worry about charges, and use your periodic table. Now I think doing covalent compounds is a lot easier than doing ionic compounds because I don't have to worry about balancing the charges and I just use numeric prefixes for the number of atoms in each compound. It's actually pretty easy. So let's go to the blackboard and we're going to start off with NO2. Now note, first of all, just write down nitrogen but there are two oxygen, so I'm gonna to have to call it dioxide. And note, I added the IDE to the root of oxygen. The root of oxygen is OX. Add IDE, we've got nitrogen dioxide. Now we have P2O3, we have two phosphorus, so diphosphorus, and then we have three oxygen, so this time it's tri oxide. And again, note, we only add the IDE to the second or the least metallic element. NH3. Now before you say that's nitrogen trihydride, it's not. NH3 is a very old compound. It's been around for a long time and it has a common name. It's called ammonia. And we don't call it nitrogen trihydride. It's just not correct. It's referred to as ammonia. And then there's H2O. And everybody recognizes H2O, it's water. And that's what we call it. We call it water. It is not dihydrogen oxide. It's water. Now we have CO2. Write down our carbon. We have two oxygens, so it's going to be carbon dioxide. And then we have CCL th uh, CCL4. And we have one carbon, so we can write down the carbon. And note, there are four chlorines there. So it's going to be tetrachloride and carbon tetrachloride. And that's all there is to doing covalent compounds. Pretty easy. If you haven't um, gone to my YouTube videos, you need to get over there and watch the uh, video on nomenclature on ionic and covalent compounds. As usual, if you have any questions, send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com and check out mrkazisworld.com for powerpoints and videos and much much more and of course subscribe to my youtube happy ions everyone